Hey guys, been a while. Uh, finished making a couple knives. I know it's been a while. Making a quick video right now. Gonna show. Uh, so, got some ballast songs here, butterfly knives. Uh, these here, I did not make. These two here, I just finished making. And uh, this one here, I got myself some titanium and made some titanium handle scales there. Uh, basically, uh, long story short, this is a Benchmade Model 32, and this is the Benchmade Model 42, and I kind of wanted to combine uh, the two styles here of these two and make a, you know, a ballast song the size of a 32 because I like that for carrying. I think it's great for, you know, an actual carry and use knife, but uh, it's kind of a cool look, you know, the classic BM42. So I sort of combined them, and this is what I came up with. Also, I changed the, uh, so I used this 32 kind of as a guide. But I changed, kind of did my own take on the blade. I like, I don't know what you want to call this. Back in the 80s, we called that kind of a Weehawk style. I don't know if that fits or not. But I love this knife. I carry this Benchmade all the time. It's a great pocket knife, but it's not my favorite look for a blade style so changed it came up with my own blade here uh, I'm gonna do a more in-depth video of these ballast songs basically basically I'm making a quick video right now just because I want to get a, a video of how this looks before I anodize this knife uh, these titanium handle scales I'm gonna anodize them and, and make them blue I've already tested it, the anodization on titanium. This is, I made this one also. Uh, so you can see, hopefully, that these liners, those are titanium. I uh, made the clip out of titanium and anodized it. Turned out all right. I used three 9-volt batteries, and that obtains, that comes up with this kind of blue. I was messing around trying to make pocket clips. You can see, uh, so... Three nine volts will get you this blue. What I plan on trying is I'm going to try and do ten nine volt batteries on these, which gets you kind of a deeper purpley blue. Fingers crossed that it turns out well. We'll see. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll go into this in a little more detail. I think after I anodize them, but I just wanted to kind of document here what this looks like before I do the anodization. And it was, is that even a word? Ana, anodization. Sure. Yes. We'll say that's a word. But anyway, this looks pretty cool. <laughs> if I left it the way it is, it would look more like the 42, but I've already got, I've already got this. So I want to learning how to anodize is fun, so I'm just going to see how this turns out. It'd be nice. I think it'll be cool to have a blue one. I don't know how well the, that stuff will hold up. I haven't really tested this too much to see how durable it is, but I'm hoping that it'll at least kind of hold up because I plan on using this. My whole, uh, the whole thing that I was going for was, uh, you know, trying to make uh, some pocket knives that uh, of my own that are mine that I made that I'll actually carry and use. So that's what I'm going for here. So I'm sure that it'll get some scuffs and wear, but I'm all right with that. Uh, I wish I had some more room here to show how these flip. I don't know. The camera's a little close. So uh, anyway, maybe I'll try and make a video of uh, flipping these knives that I made. Obviously, they're short, so they're not like they're not going to be the best. They're not going to flip as well as you know the full size ones. But I mean, they work. They they do all right. They do what I need them to do. <laughs> yeah, you can't see what I'm doing, so... <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, I'll do another video later. Showing these here. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck on uh, anodizing this. I'm hoping it turns out well. And then I'll probably do another video then. Anyway, I've rambled long enough. Probably more that I want to say here, but I forget. Anyway, 
Hopefully I'll be back with another video and a cool looking blue battle song. Later.